It was ironic, really. I was in a school full of people who claimed to love God and claimed to read his word, yet not practice his message of unconditional love. Zoe Graff is reading one of the more than a dozen letters she received about King schools, the private Christian schools she recently graduated from. Yeah, so initially I had really close LGBTQ friends at King's who would come to me just feeling so unsafe and so unseen at school. And that's when I felt the need to engage in a letter writing campaign. A campaign that started on a campus Colby Crispino knows well. I started um, in pre-K and I kept going throughout um, elementary school and junior high and then high school. Um, and then I left at the end of sophomore year um, when I came out to my parents. Um, and we both realized um, as a family that this is not a safe place. The school says King's upholds the historical biblical standard of morality that sexual expression is confined within the marriage of one man and one woman. Zoe and Colby say that's what students are taught. Especially when you adopt a Bible curriculum for your 11th grade Bible class that says being gay is unnatural. If I was told I was unnatural, I would feel less than human. Her goal was for teachers to read the letters. Some of the teachers who got involved in the letter writing, my letter writing campaign were asked to leave. More administration, more people from Krista are leaving. King Schools, part of Krista Ministries, declined a request for an interview, but provided this statement. Since 1949, the ministries of Krista have been serving the needs of the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ, and our positions have remained consistent. We have and will continue to serve all people. However, these students say they see something different. Kings has such a great potential to be an amazing school, um, but right now um, it is not a safe place. It's not a safe place for all students. In Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.